Be a cheerful giver. Something that's out of the heart. The heart. Whenever you're going to church, and you're sitting down in a congregation of people, and you hear your pastor go up and say, oh, you should give to this. Or you have a friend who says, I don't do that because that's sinful. Do it because God sees it and you give him your finest fruits. God wants your heart. He doesn't want your feelings. He doesn't want your compulsion. He doesn't want any of those. He wants your heart. It's more to do with your relationship to God. The Bible tells you this. You don't do anything out of compulsion. It says in Corinthians, be a cheerful giver. What does cheerful mean? There's any guilt, there's any, any of that. You don't do it out of emotionalism either, or compulsion. People sometimes say, I don't want to go to church because people are going to take my money. You're doing it out of guilt. Don't base it out of guilt. So when someone says to you, don't go to the movies because it's this, or don't uh, invest your time in this sort of thing, or don't spend money on that, they're actually sinning against you. And you should correct them and rebuke them. Let me tell you about what your Heavenly Father thinks. He wants you to reflect. He wants you to test His Spirit. He wants you to give. I'm not saying don't give, but do it with prayer. Don't do it out of the heat of emotionalism. Don't do it out of the heat of anything. When you feel that coming on, maybe it isn't guilt. Maybe it's the Holy Spirit. Think about it, ponder about it, and make sure that you're doing what God wants you to do in the end. It's like Cain and Abel. Abel, he gave his first fruits. He did it. He gave right there. And you know why Cain, God didn't really accept it? Because he didn't give his first fruits. He just gave something that was secondary. Give your first fruits. Do those things. God looks at the heart. It's all about the heart. The heart, the heart, the heart. And if you're not compelled by that, then you're not breathing.